First of all, you need to have the right glass. Okay, and this is the right glass? Yes, this is the normal glass that you'd use for, you know, in a bar or whatever. But okay. this is the actual same glass that I use, in fact, for my grandfather, my father. So it's very okay. important to put the whiskey in the glass when you assess it. You swirl it around and then you put it Woo! on the floor. <laughs> so then what happens is you've got the lip of the glass absolutely clean and then you go back to it. So why do you do that? Because what you want to do is to make sure the lip of the glass is absolutely clean. Oh, okay. So if I ever see you holding a glass like this, nosing like this, I'll kill you. Oh, I'll never do that. Because but what you I need to do, the, hold it down the there, there, bring it up and say, hello, and then go back and say, how are you? And then, <laughs> quite well, thank you very much. Okay, so I do this? Yeah, so you've got to be very okay. gentle with it. Now okay. make sure the bridge of your nose hits the top. That's it. I don't Bring have it. much of a bridge of a nose no, here. No, but it's a lovely nose. That's it. Bring it back. Okay, hello. And then back again. How are you? And then back again. Okay. I don't remember what it's supposed so to what say. So what you but... need to do is to take a little water, take it down to about 35% alcohol. Okay. Give it respect. Put it in your top of your mouth, underneath your mouth, back in the middle, and then let it go down. The longer you keep it in the mouth, the more you'll extract these flavors. It's like okay. you're cooking. You don't just right. gulp everything down. You chew it and you extract the flavors. Okay. That's what the whiskey is all about. So should I try this then? Please do, okay. yes. So just okay. If I have to keep it front, back, and and our front, middle, and back of the mouth, then you're going to have to do the talking. Yeah, I'll do it with you. So so what you do is just okay. swirl it around, bring it up. This is forty percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. We're not putting any water in it, okay. but you really don't really need the water. So what I would do okay. is just like this. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Hello there. So you open ah. it up, spicy to begin with, mm. and these lovely, lovely flavors of vanilla, citrus, chocolate, marmalade, spice, honey, they're all there coming together. Well, you see, now no, I would normally think of as of whiskey as being really strong and, and burning going down. No, it's not like that. It's beautiful. So then what you do is just to see a single malt, like this is Dalmore, okay. we have Jura, and once again, just you know, just really stir you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, no, right, worries. Okay. Okay. no worries. So, so, no worries. They're not here right they're now. They're not here. Don't worry. So what I'd like you to show okay. you here, this is Dalmore, okay, single so malt. Okay, this again. Comes from the very far north of Scotland. Ooh. But what's so important about this, the top note, like your perfume, Mm -hmm. It is a top note of orange marmalade. That is very, very important. You can see the sort of spice, everything about it, but it's one individual distillery. This is like one personality. This okay. is one single distillery. And this is 12 years old, and this is very important to remember that all the whiskies in mm. this, this single malt is not less than 12 years. So all the whiskies cannot, by law, be less than 12 years. That's exceptionally important. Made by the pot still method of distillation, this gives complexity. So when you think of rum, whiskey, cognac, think of the pot still. So this is used? This is used to make, not this size, this but this is much, much, much bigger. Much bigger. 20 feet tall. So is, this, is, this is a lot smoother. This is, this is, a, this is 12 years old. It's oh, in okay, comparison to four to eight years that's old. That's why. But okay. can I maybe show you one more whiskey? Sure, absolutely. Let me just show you this. Can, I don't, can I, I've got another half hour to go on the show. All right, let me, let me just abuse you. But what I would want to say to you, first of all... Would you ever put ice in Yes, that's, okay. you just asked the oh, right okay. question. Uh, recently, I was in, in America, Vegas, and I asked for a whiskey, and I put my hand out to grab it, and suddenly this man got this. He went like this. He went and like did this. you... He went like this. Oh. And he went like this. And he said, and there you are, sir, a scotch on the rocks. I said... Why did you give me that? Because whiskey is normally served on the rocks. In the olden okay. days, when there was no ice, the yeah. Scots went to the riverbeds. They took the ice that had been in the rocks had been chilled by the mountain snows, right. put that okay. in, and that's how you get the name. Oh. But what is it done completely? Can't get into it. It's right, ruined. Right, it. Right, yeah. You don't need it. <laughs> Really reading your studio here, but never mind. Look, I want to show you this very nice. This is, this is. Uh, let me just abuse you here. All right, because I don't know what's going to happen next. I brought this all the way from Scotland. This is something very, very special for you. This is very sophisticated. It's, it's from a vial that has no label on it. No label. And what I want to let you do, that's, well, that's right. Swirl okay. it around, bring mm -hmm. it up, and smell it. That's it. That's beautiful. Oh. And then bring it back. Okay. Now, this is a single malt. This is Dalmore, but I do want to show you. Just make sure you get used to it. It's a beautiful individual. It's very old. And it's okay. already going around the studio with all these beautiful <laughs> aromas. Okay? So what I want you to do is take a big mouthful and hold it in the mouth. Just hold it there. Keep mm. it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Top of the mung, underneath mm. the tongue. Mm -hmm. Keep it there. Keep it there. Mm -hmm. And then swallow and then take a big deep breath. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> okay, so, so keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Yeah, this is a crazy Scots move we've got here. So 
keep it there, keep it there. When I pulled the cracker, it wasn't to be stupid. It was for you to take a big deep breath, big deep breath, and now it's coming up. 10, 9, yeah, 8, can... 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The smokiness. Just, just put it over again. Mm. Okay, just keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Now that's it. Now let it go over, and this will tell you. This whiskey's not 10 years old, it's not 20, it's not 30. This is in fact 40, no, it's 58 years old. This is around about $50,000 for oh one goodness. bottle, the most expensive thing you'll ever have in your mouth. I just drank $50,000 scotch. So when you go home tonight, lie in your bed, sit there, and everything else, all these flavors will come back again. I love this man. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming Sorry in. Sorry for this, wrecking your studio. Not at all, it was $50,000 worth it.